Hey, the old rules here. Welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. So in the last episode, Von Karma decided to tease us and take all of our evidence, or at least the letter. I don't know if he took anything else from us. But Maya did manage to grab one of the pieces of evidence he had from the DL6 file, which I don't know how he didn't notice that she grabbed something from him, but it's lucky that she did. At least, we hoped so anyway. I need to look at it to see what the information on it says. <sighs> this is it. Judgment Day. Today, things are going to get settled at last. A lot of things. Oh. <sighs> What's the big idea? Sorry, Nick. I only touched your shoulder. I guess the shock hasn't worn off from my running with the stun gun yesterday. Anyhow, today's the last day of the trial. Good luck, Nick. Yeah, thanks, Maya. Edward's looking glum as always. I hope Von Karma doesn't push him too hard. Yeah, we probably shouldn't touch anything for a while. What are you doing? Sorry, I'm sorry. I just thought I'd ch cheer you up with a pat on the back. Maya, maybe you should go outside and discharge? Right, good idea. Try not to electrocute anyone on your way out. Oh, welp. Hi, Gumchu. What's gone into that girl? Detective Gumchu. Morning, Mr. Adjort. Uh, good morning. How did it go, de how did it go, detective? I have no fear. I promise I've captured our runaway caretaker. I just brought him in. Took all night, pal. Thanks, Detective Gumshoe. You must be tired. Actually, after that shock I got on the way in, I feel pretty good. Yuki said he's forgotten his own name. But that has to be a lie. Why would he want revenge on Edgeworth if he couldn't remember his past? He does remember, and I'm going to prove it. Okay, let's do this. Court is now in session for the trial of Miles Edgeworth. The defense is ready, Your Honor. And yeah, like usual. Oh. The prosecution is ready. Oh, right. Very well. We have reached the final day of our proceedings in this trial. I ask that the prosecution submit submit decisive evidence. Understood. I'm guessing he noticed that one of the pieces of evidence he had was missing, and uh, I get the feeling that's why he's a little bit nervous. Oh my, uh, don't be odd into silence by every little thing, thing he says. Do not be as forceful as he normally is. Very well, Mr. Bonkarma, your opening statement. Right. Thanks to Detective Gumshoe's efforts, the boat rental shop caretaker has been arrested. In yesterday's trial, the defense asserted that the caretaker was the murderer. However, the caretaker has yet to confirm this. I would like to ask the defense to cross-examine him as much as necessary. Okay, he's up to something. He's being way too nice. Very well. Please bring the witness into the courtroom. Hello. Ladies and gentlemen of the court, I believe you all remember our witness. He lives in the boat rental shop on the lake from where he witnessed the incident. In addition, he has currently lost memory of his name and identity. Witness, why did you run away yesterday? The witness was not running away, as he will now testify. I, I see. Very well, please begin your testimony. Hmm? Why I left court. Okay, let's hear it. Er, um, I'm really sorry about leaving yesterday like I did. But I wasn't running away or nothing. I uh, went to buy some food for Polly, see? I figured I got nothing to do with this incident anyhow. Er, I mean, I need one of those motive things, right? I don't got one. So my testimony yesterday stands as is. If you say so. Hmm, very well. Let's begin the cross-examination, shall we? He has to know his name. Yanni Yogi. You're Yanni Yogi, and I'm going to prove it. Okay. Let's see. 
So we need to get him to confess that he remembers his past. Probably leaving yesterday like I did, wasn't running away or nothing. I uh, went to buy some food for Polly. Press. Food? Well, Polly's a bit of a gourmand, you see. She only sees high quality bird pellets from France. They only have them in the big pet shop downtown. But you weren't arrested until this morning. Why didn't you go back to the caretaker shack? Er, well, I kind of got lost, you see. The witness has trouble remembering things sometimes. When the police apprehended him, he was on his way back to the shack. Yeah, right. Nice try, Von Karma. No one's going to believe that. Uh, you'd be surprised. <laughs> you see, so he was lost. Yeah, especially with this judge who, um, is really... I don't even know at this point. Like, is he just stupid or what? Please, Your Honor, come to your senses. Figured I got nothing to do with this incident anyhow. Um... Or, I mean, you want to go motive thing, then I've got one. Oh yeah, that's right. What do I have on me anymore? Uh... Oh no, that's not what I need. There's the check button to read it. Elevator depleted at the time. No clues found on the scene. Uh, air in the elevator was oxygen. Okay, apparently I need to use the arrow keys for this. Barry Edge was a victim. One bullet in the heart. Martin Weapon was fired twice. And Yogi, memory lost you to after his arrest. Fiance, Polly Jenkins commits suicide. Whoa. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I did not read this before. Excuse me for a second. Sorry about that interruption. I need to silence my phone. Um, hmm. I wonder. Back to the previous statement, or one where you mentioned Polly. Hmm. Huh. Because of that page of the DL6 incident, page, am I supposed to present this? Or is it too soon to make that connection yet? That he named his parent his parrot after his uh, dead wife. Because I can't tell. Like sometimes I figure out stuff faster than the game actually figures it out. So I'm just a little bit confused. I think I'll hold off on doing that for now, but we'll come back to it later. Um, I guess I'll press this. How can you say you had no motive? I say you do. You had a grudge against Edgeworth and the victim, Robert Hammond. That's why you took revenge on them, right? Please don't make me repeat myself, Mr. Wright. This witness has no memory of anything beyond several years ago. He can't hold a grudge. It's impossible. I have to prove he's lying about his memory. Otherwise, it's going to be the same thing over and over until the trial ends. First things first, I have to prove this man is who he is. Do that and the motive will prove itself. Um. You've lost much of your memory, is that correct? Uh, uh, yup, seems like it. Seems like it? Then how could you know that you didn't have anything to do with this incident? It's actually a good point. Uh, or, or maybe you're lying about not having your memory, hmm? You know exactly who you are. The witness has testified quite clearly that he has no memory of who he is. You claim he's lying, then show the court proof. Uh, 
How am I supposed to prove what's going on in that old codger's head? That's impossible. Hm. I'm glad you've come to your senses, Mr. Wright. Very well, witness. Please continue. Might I say something, Mr. Wright? Uh, yes. Yes, Your Honor? You've been saying the same thing over and over. Now, yeah, you've been calling the witness's memory of the past or lack thereof into question, but does this really have anything to do with the current case? Yes, of course, Your Honor. The witness has said he has nothing to do with the case and no motive. Both of these statements are lies. Order, order! Mr. Wright, there's a serious problem with your claim. Or are you saying... Are you saying you know who this witness is? Of course, Your Honor. Ho <laughs> ho! Now this is interesting! I would like to know myself, so who is he? Don't play dumb, Von Karma. Mr. Wright, please tell us the witness's name. The witness's name is Yanni Yogi, Your Honor. His name is Yanni Yogi, a former court bailiff. Yogi? That name seems familiar. Oh! Yanni Yogi, from the DL6 incident. Have you been a judge that long? I thought the judge would have heard of it. It was such a famous case. Okay, I guess that's how he heard of it. But what does this mean? Your Honor, if this man is Mr. Yogi, then he has a clear motive. Tis, <laughs> tis, tis. Jumping to conclusions again, Mr. Wright. This man, this witness, is Yanni Yogi? Fascinating. However, how do you propose to prove this to the court? This is a court of law, as you may recall. You need proof. And allow me to repeat once more that the witness has lost his memory. This is it. I have to do this now. I can't prove he's Yogi right here, right now. Then I've got nowhere else to go. Nick! How are you going to prove it? How can you prove that he's Yanni Yogi? It's okay. It's actually quite simple. Your Honor, please take this man's fingerprints. Then we'll compare them to the fingerprints on file for Yanni Yogi 15 years ago. I think you're forgetting something, Phoenix. I see. That makes sense. <laughs> Did you forget that Von Karma took all of the evidence? Huh? I'm so very, very sorry, Mr. Wright. <laughs> Why? The witness has no fingerprints. Wait, what? Huh? Wait. What? What? No fingerprints? Uh, you see, before I worked as a caretaker, I worked at a chemical plant. I burned my fingers working with the stuff. Oh, yep. What? Yogi, you sneak. You burned your fingerprints to hide- your fingerprints off to hide your path. Jeez. That sounds extremely painful. Also, the chemical plant thing is obviously a lie. He probably used a lighter or a candle or maybe just put his hands on his on his stove in his caretaker shack until it burned off. Hmm. Well, if the witness has no fingerprints, I guess we will not be able to prove his identity. No. Well, what will you do, Mr. Wright? Uh... Hmm? It seems that the case has been decided. No. No! I know what happened. I know everything. I... I just can't prove it. But no, I can't live in like this. I can't lose. There has to be another way. There is no one who can testify as to who this witness is. No one. Nick, what are we going to do? I didn't even consider that he might have erased his fingerprints. What do I do? Well, Mr. Wright, perhaps you'd like to cross-examine the parrot for a little comic relief, hmm? That is a brilliant idea, actually. Yeah, yeah, very funny. You're sore winner, Von Karma. Wait a second. Cross-examine the parrot? What is it, Nick? No, you're not going to! Your Honor. The defense would like to take Mr. Von Karma up on his proposal. Take Mr. Von Karma up? On his proposal? Exactly, Your Honor. I would like to cross-examine the witness's pet parrot. <laughs> <laughs> 
He shouldn't have made the suggestion, Von Kama, if he didn't want this to happen. <laughs> order, order. Oh, uh, well, what do you think, Mr. Von Kama? Need you even ask? This is a farce. I object. Wait a second. You were the one who suggested I cross-examine the parrot, Von Karma. I have a right to do so as you suggested. Hmm. Well, if you're so desperate, then please be my guest. Wait, he went through with it? Of course, should you go through with this, and nothing comes of it, then I hope you're ready for the consequences. Of course, you're going to add a guilty clause to it. Nick, this is crazy! Well, craziness has saved us before. Well, still want to go through with your little game? Yes, I'm doing it. Let the parent take the sand. Oh, cross-examine her, your honor. <laughs> the judge is just dumbfounded. <laughs> this is the most ridiculous thing I have ever heard! Von Karma's rigged every person's testimony, every piece of evidence. Except the parrot. She's my last chance. At least, I think so. Bailiff, bring in the parrot. But that's a sentence the judge didn't expect to utter today. Hello, Holly. That's quite a bird. Please tell us your name. The parrot doesn't respond to that type of thing. Name! The witness is ignoring me. It must hurt to be ignored by a bird. Ahem. Very well, witness. Who is your honor? Please, sir, testify for us. This is the second game I've played that had a parrot in it. If you've watched my Professor Layton thing, there's a parrot that helps you out in that in that game, too. Who is your owner? Of course, the parrot's not going to say anything except hello. Hello! Hello! Truck! <laughs> it's so silly. Hmm. Certainly the most concise testimony we've had so far. Very well, begin your cross-examination. Right. What are you going to do, Nick? <laughs> I don't know. What do we do, Maya? <laughs> okay, I need to take a break from this trial for a bit. But wow, this took a turn with me, so I was not expecting. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like. Also, be sure to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter as well as support my Patreon and check out my reaction channel. All those links will be in the description below and subscribe for more. If you are subscribed or a new subscriber right now, be sure to hit that bell icon so you get notified when I upload videos. This is Viola Rules, signing off. Talk to you later.